With the advent of Europeans in India, the struggle for independence dawned upon India and its people. The East India Company started dictating India with the Regulating Act of 1773. India's struggle for freedom is known to the masses and makes an important chapter in the evaluation of India as a free nation. Good morning everyone. I am Vivek Ranjan Sahu of Standard 10. Today, I am going to describe the significant struggle that led India to its independence. So, let's start. Welcome to my presentation. According to Mahatma Gandhi, freedom is not worth having if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. Establishment of Company Rule in India Vasco da Gama landed at Calicut in 1948 and marked the beginning of the European era in the Indian history. By the 16th century, the Portuguese had established their colonies in Goa. In the next century, India became a popular destination for a large number of European traders, adventurers and missionaries from England, Spain, France, Holland, etc. The history of the world had not witnessed a more amazing story than that of establishment of the British Empire in India. It was not the result of a deliberate effort but a series of episodes that finally led to political dominance of India by the East India Company. So let's explore this variety of episodes that made India an independent nation. Timeline of Events here are the topics that I am going to cover in this video. Introduction After the Battle of Plassey in 1757, the British achieved political power in India and that paramountacy was established during the tenure of Lord Dalhousie. And after all the coming of Britishers led to a big problem, they emerged as a trading companies and later cleverly grasped India under their hands. People of India are the true patriots. They won't sit quiet when the freedom is snatched from their hands. They started protesting and many revolutions were made. So let us know what all steps have been taken to make the Britishers quit India. The first one, Revolt of 1857. The Revolt of 1857 was the landmark in the history of India's struggle for freedom. It started on May 10. 1857 with the mutiny of soldiers in merit containment but Indian historians call it the first war of independence consequent to the failure of the revolt of 1857 one also saw the end of the East India Company's rule in India Queen Victoria's proclamation of November 1 1858 declared that thereafter India would be governed by and in the name of the British monarch through a secretary of state the Swadeshi Movement Then Lord Curzon, the Viceroy of India, announced the partition of Bengal in July 1905. Swadeshi Movement was launched as a protest movement which also gave a lead to the boycott of foreign goods and use only Indian goods. Home Rule League In 1916, an Irish lady, Mrs. Annie Besant, established the Home Rule League in Madras and Bal Gangadhar Tilak in Maharashtra. Purpose of the League was to attend self-government. On April 13, 1919, the people of Punjab gathered on the auspicious day of Baisakhi at Jallianwala Bagh near Golden Table in Amritsar. General Dyer ordered the British armed forces to open fire at the hundred of innocent unarmed men and women and children. Non-Cooperation Movement The Non-Cooperation Movement was pitched in under leadership of Mahatma Gandhi and the Indian National Congress from September 1920 to February 1922 making a new awakening in the Indian independence movement. After a series of events, including the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, Gandhiji planned to withdraw the nation's cooperation with the British government. Civil Disobedience Movement 
salt salt is the basic requirement for every person the british government had a monopoly on on salt production so on march 12 1930 mahatma gandhi began his epic dandi march from sabarmati ashram to dandi he was accompanied by 78 supporters they made salt from sea water and broke the law quit india movement in august 1942 gandhi ji started the quit india movement and decided to launch a mass civil disobedience movement do or die called to force the british to leave india at last on 3rd june 1947 louis mountbatten declared that they would leave india unfortunately the britishers left india by dividing the country into two parts at midnight on 15th august 1947 india was declared to be an independent nation this is how india was before independence and after independence this huge freedom was showed in many forms these are some of the newspaper clippings to let the people around the world know that today india got its independence and now we are in a free nation freedom fighters are the reason we live in a free country today's independent india was the aim of every freedom fighter they they will always be memorable for their patriotism and love for the country we pay our tributes to all those people who laid down their lives in an attempt to liberate india from the clutches of british imperialism at last but not the least according to chandrashekhar azad don't see others doing better than you beat your own records every day because success is a fight between you and yourself thank you very much jai hind